four, three, two, one, and lift off. March 1979. Crowds gather at Kennedy Space Center to witness a historic event. Riding piggyback on a Boeing 747 is NASA's first winged orbiter, arriving from the Dryden Flight Research Center in California. Built to launch into space, return to Earth, and launch again, this will be the world's first ever reusable spacecraft, better known as the Space Shuttle. Inside Kennedy's Vehicle Assembly Building, Shuttle Columbia is hoisted into position. Then, mated with twin solid fuel rockets, that will thrust the shuttle off the launch pad to an altitude of 150,000 feet. An external tank fuels three main engines. Each one produces 400,000 pounds of thrust and will burn through the entire ascent into space. Altogether, the shuttle Columbia weighs in at just under 220,000 pounds. The assembled shuttle, or stack, must be transported to the launch pad carefully. Enormous conveyors slowly move NASA's first shuttle to Launch Pad 39A to await final preparations before liftoff. All that's missing now are its passengers. April 12, 1981. Gemini and Apollo veteran John Young and rookie astronaut Robert Crippen enjoy a pre-dawn steak and eggs breakfast with NASA scientists. Once suited for space travel, the astronauts prepare for the first ever shuttle flight a two-day mission designed to determine Columbia's space worthiness, testing her ascent into orbit and safe descent to Earth. Young and Crippen receive their final send-offs outside the cockpit and then strap in for the ride of their lives. Six, five, four, we've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. America's first space shuttle. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. Three seconds past 7 a.m., NASA's first shuttle mission launches into space. After over 150,000 feet of ascent, the twin solid rocket boosters separate from Columbia with flawless precision. Mark uh, 2 minutes 20 seconds, confirm solid rocket booster set. They trail away from the orbiter and ultimately splashed down into the Atlantic Ocean. Then retrieved at sea and towed back to Kennedy Space Center. Roughly 10 minutes after launch, NASA's Space Shuttle Columbia becomes the first winged spacecraft ever to reach orbit. <laughs>